quite full today. Thank you. Hi, sweetie. Okay. Rohan will take that away for us. My story today, it says, why you matter. I wonder what that means. I've got some pictures here. Can you tell me, Elise, what one of these pictures these children are doing? Helping people. Helping people. Wow. Well, let's see what this story is all about. As you guys know, I love the Outlook magazine. It just has some great stories in it. And our little um, Bible treasure today says, many are the plans in the heart of a person, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19.21. We're going to find out what that verse means. It says, one day, a little Australian town called Byron Bay, I noticed a sign that read, I saw the universe change today. Whoever wrote those words was paying close attention. Everything we do makes a difference. That is a lot of responsibility. But we aren't alone. God, who made us and gives us choices, will also help us to make good decisions when we ask him for help. Could God have made machines or slaves of us or free mortal agents being able to choose good or bad? God picked the third one, of course. And we make choices and do things that have eternal impact. God created humanity in his own image. And we find that in Genesis 1.27. And every human being has the power to think and do things. No matter what we do, what we do creates relationships, either positive or negative, that otherwise would not even exist. There are people, real people, names and faces, who are who they are because the love that they love because they love us. Every act of love we perform makes a difference to the course of history and therefore an eternal plan of reality in itself. Look at it this way. I speak a word of encouragement to someone who has a heavy heart. It matters on a grand heavenly scale. If, a, if I visit a sick person and, uh, and envelop in their heart the compassion, that deed means something of a huge worth to them. If I feel a, feed a hungry child, doing this establish, establishes a vital experience of generosity that is in that child's life, as well as in God's existence as one who loves that child himself. The ideas may be difficult to understand right now, but here is an important question we should all ask ourselves. What will we do with our lives today, this very hour? Look around. Men, women, and children wait for our impact to curve our, to, and they crave our love and that they may be spiritually blessed by our example. These people may be made alive by our kind words, our acts, forever saved because we revealed the Savior's heart to them. And, ev and they've even chosen because of our example of love. So the words, I saw the universe, I saw the university change today. It changed because of the choices that we each make. So that's pretty important. So remember that when we say kind words, they make other people happy. When we say grumpy words, they don't make people smile so much, do they? So always remember, what we do affects the world around us. Okay? You can go back to your seats. Thank you.